Well, fans of Moncton singer-songwriter Ryan Hillier have been waiting four years for this day. Ryan is releasing his uh, third record called No Excuses, and he's with me in studio to talk about it. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Is this a relief to you to finally be putting it out there in the world? Absolutely. <laughs> it is. It's been, quite a, it's been quite a while. It's the longest I've ever worked on a project, so wow, feels good. Right. Okay, so your third album, but the first one that you've let someone else produce. Tell Correct. us about that. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I wanted knew I wanted to make, I made a decision to make another record, and I knew I wanted to uh, have somebody produce it. So uh, in thinking about who that might be, I just kind of went back and, and who the the people I wanted to work with, who inspired me. And so uh, Chris Kolpa was somebody that uh, I had known for a long time. And um, I, I reached out to him, and he said he was interested, and we went from there. So it was pretty cool to, to hear that he was interested in doing it because you know he's a busy guy and yeah uh, and uh it's it it was cool to have that kind of validation on the sure you know the, the tunes are good and you wanted to bring them into another another uh, kind of realm yeah a talented guy so it was in good hands but mm. what was that like though handing over that control to someone else uh initially i was i was hesitant and i think that's just that comes from having worked on my own stuff for so long and just having all that control and that was been a, a, a really big learning experience for me personally just with the whole project is how I want to approach things and, and everything and, and this was really beneficial because Chris is so great and uh, he really had the same kind of idea that I had a sound in my head and actually and everybody involved had that uh, happen as well like I, it was really easy for me because Everybody who played on the record and everybody and Chris, they just kind of tapped into what I was going for immediately. And so I really didn't have to. They made it easy for me. You know? <laughs> and you want to give a shout out to, to people who played yes, on, yeah, on the Yes, yeah, yeah. The Divorcees guys, Alex Turtle, mm -hmm. Kevin and Sean, like uh, we arranged all the tunes and they they brought, uh, you know, they're the, the most talented players I've ever worked with. So, you know, it's, it's just like a dream to have those guys put their input on it and and to and to bring that that kind of energy to the to the tune so it, it turned out unbelievably well and I'm super happy with it how did you approach though th this album compared to to the other two well I mean the story behind this album is it, it, you know this we have a short amount of time here but mm. uh, I at the time when I decided to make the album I wasn't even sure I was going to keep doing music I had uh, kind of gotten out of a really uh, a bad relationship and I was considering quitting a lot of stuff and I was just in this whole transitional kind of moment um, and uh, so music was kind of the last thing on my mind at that point but then I was like no I'm going to do one more and 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 so I had a couple of things that I had written and a couple of half finished things and so I just kind of gathered all that together and and uh really focused uh the energy into into finishing a, a demo of of the this what would become this album. So this is a very personal one for you. Yeah, it is. It is. It's it's kind of a uh it, the narrative of the album it kind of goes from from big to really personal. So I have a a song on the start of the album that's basically kind of a, a take on what's happening in the world right now, a couple of songs, and, and then it gets kind of really f hones, into, hones in on my personal life. So there's a lot of stuff on there that uh, I, I'm going to be talking about a lot more as the, as the album you know, comes out and, and, and uh, we start releasing more songs and stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, deeply personal because the last three years have, have seen a lot of changes for me personally and uh, professionally. And so it's it's very intertwined with with that and so are was, you nervous about that though of putting that no, much of your your, no, your personal it, experience out there absolutely not and this i think i was having this conversation yesterday we're always as artists you know you're always trying to find your voice and and to my goal is to is to find that voice where it's like i can be completely honest and have fun and you know uh maybe maybe shed some light on something that uh, you know, people don't know about or, and shed some light on a, on a personal issue. And maybe that's relatable to other people because they've been through something similar. So, um, this album has been such a source of just kind of healing for me, mm. which has been really great. And, uh, it's just kind of been the thing that's kept me going in, you know, some, some moments where I was like, uh, I was so unsure of, of stuff that was happening and, 
in my personal life. So, yeah, it's been it's incredibly rewarding, and uh, I, I hope it's you know received in the same way that uh, it was made, which is just you know with with hope and love and all that good good stuff, you know. And I think that's the beautiful thing about music, isn't it? That that it helps you with your healing, but but can help others as well. And Absolutely. I mean, it just music just opens the door to those conversations that people might not necessarily be ready to have otherwise. One hundred percent. It's a very, for me, it's been such a important part of my life in that regard, and and uh, it's helped me a lot having those conversations with uh, with people. And just you know, sometimes you feel so alone. With, just in general, mm. the world is a very big place, and uh, you know, I've had those experiences where you hear a song and you're like, "Whoa, uh, somebody else, you know, feels like this, and somebody else has gone through." Like, how did you know exactly how I felt? So, you know, hopefully, there's something on there that uh, people can identify with and uh, and kind of enjoy this, mm-hmm. enjoy the story. And, and the music is incredible, and it sounds like uh, it sounds incredible, and I hope it's uh, it, it, people enjoy it. Is there an official launch happening? Yes, there is. It's coming out May 27th. Okay. And uh, uh, more details on the show and stuff like that when uh, when we get those together. But uh, I just uh, decided to put it out May 27th, like a couple days ago. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we're so excited uh, to hear the first single. Uh, do you want to set it up for us? Yes, absolutely. This is a song called Apropos of Nothing. And uh, this, I chose this as the first single just because it kind of encapsulates a lot of the feelings on the record in the general and a lot of just uh, where where my life kind of was at in the in the writing process and so it's just about perception and and people's place in the in the world okay well yeah. we're gonna hear it thank you for coming in and congratulations hey, thanks again it's, it's such a an pleasure exciting to be day here. yeah thanks right. for having me thank you